Yes, uh, well the habitat is uh, born out of uh, the love of our founders, the Kokoro family, uh, who are long-time residents of Penang Hill. Um, they have lived here for over 20 years, they've had a home on the hill, and they've always appreciated the tremendous uh, uh, natural beauty of, of the hill. And they wanted to share this with the people of Penang and the people of, uh, of the world really. Um, they hope to educate people about the, uh, the importance of conserv conserving our natural heritage and they wanted to uh, impress on Penangites in particular how lucky we are to have such a beautiful natural site still intact uh, at our doorstep, literally in our backyard. So our, our main attraction really is the rainforest which is uh, right behind us here in the valley behind us uh, on Bukit Kerajaan uh, uh, what is called the Government Hill uh, Forest Virgin Jungle Reserve it is one of two remaining jungle reserves virgin jungle reserves on Penang Island and um, basically it's, uh, it's pristine and it has been protected for over 100 years when you walk along the trail you see signs from Forestry Department that demarcate the gazettement of this forest reserve on the 6th of January 1911. So it's been protected for a very long time. Um, Curtis Crest is um, definitely another one of our major attractions, our man-made attractions, I guess you could say. Uh, so the rainforest is our, is our natural heritage, our natural attraction, which uh, makes our site very unique because you, you basically can't get it anywhere else in the world. Um, Curtis Crest is also quite unique. It's, uh, it's, uh, I dare say there are, there's no structure quite like it. Uh, it is a viewing platform uh, at the top of, it's 12 meters off the ground, 100 meters in length, in a circular shape, built on top of a grove of the critium trees. The critiums are a species of conifer which were planted at the site at Curtis Crest, we believe, by the first superintendent of the Penang Botanic Gardens, Mr. Charles Curtis. That's why we call it Curtis Crest. It's named after him. At the top of Curtis Crest, you're essentially about 800 meters above sea level. 800 meters above sea level uh, is by far the highest, as far as we know, uh, viewing platform on Penang Island. So we are uh, definitely a, a big uh, supporter of, uh, of the concept of Team Penang and uh, of promoting Penang as a unique business uh, events venue. Um, <clears throat> we, are, we definitely uh, fall into the category of unique venue hires. Um, our Curtis Crest itself, for example, uh, has a 20,000 square feet flat space landscaped, uh, hardscaped area um, in the middle. We just held recently our second symposium on rainforest conservation research on Penang Hill. There, we set up a tent for uh, which housed uh, 120 packs. And uh, with uh, when uh, weather permitting, you can actually spill out, and the the space we believe can uh, handle up to 300 packs easily for a cocktail function. Uh, for a seated function, probably closer to about 200 or so. So uh, at present, we mainly had uh, more informal cocktail function style events here. Uh, we are going to host a cocktail function for the WTM in uh, later this month, in May 2017. Um, we're going to host about 170 packs at Curtis Crest for sunset cocktail drink cocktail. At present, uh, we are still working on our uh, event space, which will be located at our visitor center, and that will be a tent covered space which can uh, seat 150 packs. Uh, we can stretch it to about 200 packs being a little bit more creative. Actually we have an in-house team uh, and we offer the full selection of team building options. Uh, we, every, everything from what our, our own team can handle to outsourcing to, uh, to all levels uh, and we can basically tailor make uh, team building events to your budget, uh, to anybody's budget. Um, <clears throat> we think that we are very unique, even more unique uh, 
uh, as a venue for team building and, uh, and most of the people who come here, rain or shine, love their visit and love their experience here. Um, you know, we've had, we had an Intel group 110 packs uh, a couple of weeks ago and it rained like dogs and cats on them. But you know, they were all in ponchos, they were all ready and they loved it. They were in the, you are in a rainforest. Which was this morning. Mm. I was standing at Curtis Crest, our treetop walk, and um, literally there was a Brumini kite uh, about 10 meters away from me at my eye level. And you know, that those are the kind of experiences which we have here, which uh, quite frankly they're never choreographed. Mm -hmm. They're always they're always uh, impromptu and natural. And uh, I think that's one of the, the best unique selling points about the habitat. Um, Every experience that you have here, every visit will be slightly different. And uh, we all oftentimes have people asking us, oh, do you cage the animals for, and the insects and the flora and the fauna? Do you, do you, and, uh, and the fauna, do you cage them for people to touch and experience? And, and we, and we unequivocally always answer no. We never cage animals.